Well, tonight, Army Private Travis King is back in U.S. custody 71 days after crossing into North Korea. Pyongyang deported him with help from Swedish diplomats who arranged his safe return via China, where U.S. officials met him before heading to a military base in South Korea. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer has the new details from Tokyo. Tonight, Private King is on his way home, in good spirits, according to one U.S. official, and looking forward to seeing his family. King has already spoken with his mother, her so, spokesperson told CBS News. Everybody is overjoyed that this is a large, very close-knit family. They have been desperately worried about him. We thank Sweden and the People's Republic of China for their assistance in facilitating that transfer. He is now on his way to the United States, and we expect him to arrive in the coming hours. North Korea said the 23-year-old was being deported because he had illegally intruded into the territory of the DPRK, claiming ill feeling against inhuman maltreatment and racial discrimination within the U.S. Army. Now let's stop it right there. Let's read. Illegal intrusion, okay? That was one of the reasons why they deported him. Now, why did he run over there in the first place? Because of racial discrimination within the U.S. Army. Let's repeat that. He left and went over to the other side because he was experiencing racial discrimination within the U.S. Army. Now, we all know that racism is very prevalent everywhere. What we don't know is that it's also in the ranks of the U.S. Army, the Navy, and the U.S. Air Force. What they also don't understand is that King Chong Hyun, with all due respect to everybody that's involved, because I take no sides, but one thing I do know, and that's about history, See, in the Vietnam War, the Vietnamese soldiers used to send letters to the black U.S. soldiers. And that letter said, go back home, black man. This is not your war. They would send them letters stating this to the black soldiers. Go home. This is not your war. And you know what? They were right. We was fighting a war that had nothing to do with us. See, the Vietnamese soldiers understood one thing, that we were just being used as pawns against them. And they knew that. And they understood and was educated on how we as black people are treated in this country. Now, isn't that something? That the so-called enemy of the United States of America was more sympathetic towards black people than the country they was fighting for. Now isn't that a run of the muck? Let's continue. Back in July, King, seen here in the black cap, joined a tour group at the demilitarized zone and then suddenly sprinted into North Korea. But that day he was supposed to be on a plane back to the U.S. to face military discipline after an assault conviction. Now King is finally making that journey. And having been declared AWOL by the U.S. government, he may face further consequences. Why North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un decided to deport King now? I'm going to tell you why King Jong-un did that. See, a lot of people don't understand the history. These people understand our plight over here. Don't let these people fool you. King Chang Yu and the people of North Korea are very well educated on how black people are getting treated in America. That's why they let that soldier go. Because remember, King Chang Yu has a relationship with a black man. And his name is Dennis Rodman. Remember that? Dennis Rodman even traveled 
to North Korea. See, King Jong-un himself has a close-knit relationship with a black man. And I'm pretty sure they had conversations about how we are treated in this country. That's why he let him go, out of respect. Because King John Yul didn't want to make it look like he had anything against black people. That's why King John Yul let him go. Now let's end this senseless video. Now is a mystery, but the U.S. says there were no strings attached. We did not give them anything. We made no concessions as a part of securing his return. And Nora, the fact that China played a pivotal role in Private King's return is one more sign that it is committed to warming its frosty relationship with Washington. They're not trying to warm nothing with Washington. That is proof that they understand the plight of the black America. See, they always try to spin things because it's propaganda. But just like I gave you all of the information that you needed, he let that brother go because he knows he's a brother. He has a relationship with a brother by the name of Dennis Rodman that used to play for the LA Lakers and won several championship rings with the LA Lakers. That's why he has a personal relationship with a black man. That's why they let him go. Tell the truth. That's all you need to do. Like, subscribe, and whatever you do, always tell the truth. Always tell the truth. And if it's the last thing you do, make sure you tell the truth.